How's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Mike Mediso, a poker champion. How are you doing today, Mike? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. Thank you for joining us on the show. You've had a ton of success as a poker star, essentially, and you've been on television and I've seen you and millions of fans have watched you and seen you. So let's get into that a little bit. You've won four World Series of Poker Bracelets. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you're known as the mouth. And I interviewed the brat. And now I'm getting a chance to interview the mouth. So what led you to be called the mouth? Why the mouth? Well, I mean, I used to talk a lot of shit back in the days um, when I was like way better than everybody. And I would just like make fun of everybody and I was really loud, I talked a lot, and then I just kind of used my image, and basically, like, when something controversial comes up, I just run my mouth, don't give, give a shit. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it, actually. Well, that's a big part of poker, and that's a big part of playing cards, though, isn't it? Isn't it yeah. a lot of the mental game and trying to get into someone else's head? You know, you yeah. see everyone's wearing gl glasses, so you can't read their their eyes, and kind of, you know, poker face, it's a big part of it. So is that just because you like to have fun or is that part of your strategy? Well, I mean, back in the day, it was part of my strategy a lot more now because most people play pretty good. Um, so I don't, it's tough to get into their heads, but I mean, if, if there's people I know or people I play with that I could, that I know I could get under their heads, I'll, I'll definitely talk a lot of shit. <laughs> well, you've had a lot of success. Congratulations on the four bracelets. That's very impressive. Now, switching gears in 2014, you suffered a spinal contusion, yeah. which left you unable to walk in severe pain. And instead of falling off, you fought hard and you did everything you could to rehabilitate. And you're currently making a tremendous comeback, yeah. which is a very impressive. And can you please tell us what motivates you and what inspiration and what motivational message you may want to be able to deliver to your fans or anyone that's watching that's had some of the similar problems? That, that's a really good question. So um, after my injury in 2014, which really came out of nowhere, um, for probably about the first three years, I felt sorry for myself. I, yes, I worked hard to be able to walk again, but I was in debilitating pain and I blamed everybody. And um, that's when I, uh, I kind of really uh, realized um, you, you can't play the victim in life. You know, you have to work hard at things. You can't let something like this take you down, you know? And so I was able to, to work really hard, um, started, uh, you know, showing up at World Series events, you know, I, even though I was in a, you know, on a scooter and it was hard for me to walk. Um, I, many a days, I grinded through 12 hour days of excruciating pain, like pain, like nobody could even ever imagine. And um, the last three years, uh, even though I haven't won another bracelet, I've got uh, 26 caches out of 54 events with six final tables, you know, wow. and, um, and that's being in a lot of pain. Uh, so, you know, I tell people that don't really know what I go through, except for my girlfriend or my mom, um, even Phil knows a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I, I challenge anybody to, uh, to be able to do, uh, compete at that high level, uh, when you're just dealing it with debilitating pain, but, you know, you have to, uh, you can't, you can't play the victim in life. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems is, is victimization of people in the world that tell you you're not good enough or you can't do this. And uh, the bottom line is, is whatever you want to do in life, you, you, you can do. I agree with you. And I think that's a great message. Congratulations on your success and your ongoing rehabilitation. Yeah. Now, a recent study of the online gaming industry projects the market to bring in over 66 billion USD by the end of 2020. So this industry is blowing up now because of COVID-19, more people are staying at home. People are trying to find ways to make money from home. This is becoming an industry that is really growing and you're a big part of that. And for this number to grow further to 160 billion US in six years time, which means it could potentially grow by 
150% in the next six oh, it will, years. It will. It will. There's no could. You know what I'm saying? And um, uh, during like, even during my life, I wasn't a very, very good sports better. Um, I was not very good at it. Um, but there were times where, uh, you know, I was always friends with Wayne. And uh, he, uh, you know, I would, when things weren't going well, I would call him on the phone. Who do you like this weekend? And uh, Wayne is a, it's a very, um, very, it's a word for Wayne. He's a good, he's a good man. And he's really good at, he's, he, you know, sports is his passion. Um, and, uh, you know, he, he didn't sugarcoat it. He's like, you don't sit there and say, oh, nine for nine winners, eight for eight winners. We're going to, no. He's like, Mike, here's three games. You know, let's hope we get two out of three. Maybe we'll do better. And he always, you know, he always picked me winners, you know, like he's the only one, one, wow. one of very few people that pick me winners. Um, so he know he's good at what he does. Uh, so that's why I got involved. And what is it that makes Vegas winners unique and different? You've been in the industry for a long time. There's got to be tons of companies out there. Wayne Allen Root obviously is leading the charge and he's very unique and very different. But besides that, what makes this company unique and different? Why did you want to be an advisor to this company? Because, because of the fact it's, I feel like, almost like I just said, you see so many companies and tout services and tell everybody, oh, join us. We're going to give you guaranteed winners. We're going to give you this. We're going to give you that. You know, Wayne doesn't talk like that. Wayne says, you go with us. We're going to fucking do it. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to show you how much we're going to put on the, how we're going to uh, give you the information that's going to make up, uh, make you guys money. And we're going to do it without guaranteeing. We're going to go 80%, 70%. We're telling you, you know, to make money in, in, in sports betting, you got to pick 60%, 50, 50, what is it? Break even 57.1%. We're going to pick 60%. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do it. Maybe we're going to have some good years. We're going to do even better. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to win in the long run. It's all about winning. And so um, Wayne is a winner. He he always stresses. It's about winning, winning, winning. You know, that's why he's such a big Donald Trump supporter, because winning, winning, winning. You know, he always likes He loves that message of winning, winning, winning. And um, uh, so, uh, you know, uh, that's it. You know, I'm, 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 it's about winning. Mike, you've been doing a lot of winning in your life and Vegas winners it's a great name and mm -hmm. it's all about winning and you've got a winning team. you got some big players that are being joining this advisory board. Why did you choose to join this advisory board? Why take a role as an advisor on this board? Well, I mean, I am very connected in the gambling industry. Um, me, uh, uh, Phil Hamuth, uh, we're very well known in our industry. And um, if uh, you don't know uh, poker players, Literally, 85% oh, of all poker players bet sports, and 83% of them are losers. Okay, <laughs> and they and they don't just bet sports; they bet big on sports. Oh, I bet. Okay, so like me, I have no problems telling you that I've lost six million dollars betting sports in my lifetime. Wow. Okay, and that's so big. And, that's very big. Yeah, You're not that's kidding. Nothing, I mean, that's nothing compared to some of the people I know. I so, bet. So you know, I I not but but. The very few times I've won, you know, when I do win, it's always been, you know, when I've called Wayne on the phone, but, you know, he's always a businessman. It's tough for him to say, hey, Mike, you know, uh, uh, whenever he wanted to give me a, a game, you know, the number had already moved, you know, and, and the mm -hmm. one thing I've learned over the last four or five years is if you don't get the good number, if you, it's all about the number. If you don't get a good number, you're just not, you, you just can't make the bet. So it's all, not only about information, but it's about information about getting the number and, uh, you know, uh, Known Wayne, me and Wayne did a, uh, uh, a television show together about 15, uh, yeah, about 15 years ago. Uh, we had great chemistry, um, and I just felt he's the right guy uh, to lead the uh, charge into this uh, uh, sports betting uh, coming up. I think it's very exciting. I think this is a very exciting company. I think this is a company that's undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And I love being able to help you create exposure and get the story out and let people know. Now, what makes you believe that you can help Vegas winners grow and prosper? And if you could kind of do a little bit of forward thinking, where well, do you think this company can grow to one day? Well, I mean, 
I have my own podcast called the Mouthpiece Podcast. Uh, I get yeah. anywhere between 100 to 200,000 listeners. Wow. Um, I uh, have lots of people that bet sports on my thing. Uh, I think an exposure through my podcast, exposure through um, merchandise uh, during poker tournament events, um, uh, exposure through my social media where I have over 120,000 followers. Uh, you know, that'll, that'll always, that'll help. Um, and, um, people know, almost everybody who knows me knows I'm like the biggest sports loser ever. So <laughs> when they see me going behind somebody that I know is a winner, you know, they're going to say, well, Mike's never won and all, and he doesn't bet it. He hasn't bet sports in forever. It's been almost three years. And now he's going behind somebody. Uh, maybe he knows somebody, maybe he knows something. And I do, I, I, I have a lot of, uh, belief in, uh, Wayne Allen Root and the team that he's put together. That's great. Well, you know what? I wish you all the best of luck. Continue on your success, both with the business and with poker and with Vegas winners and with your health. And I wish you and the company a happy Merry Christmas and a happy new year. And I hope you achieve all of your goals in 2021 and beyond. Thank you. And you know what? As bad a year as 2020 has been for most people, it's been one of the top three years of my life because it allowed me to reevaluate so many things in my life. And it's, uh, uh, I, I can't wait to, for 2021 and hopefully Vegas winners will, uh, will be a big part of it. That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Mike Maduso and Rich from Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. Vegas winners, I think it has huge potential. Put on your watch list, put on your radar. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. And thank you for watching. Thank you, Mike. Have a nice day. You're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.